Hey, Omnibus Collectors, Riley here with another Omnibus of the Week. It's been a while, but uh, I'm doubling up this week and doing a series that a lot of you have been asking me for. I've gotten especially a lot more people asking about it uh, lately, so I decided let's go ahead and uh, cover Sandman. So, uh, <clears throat> there are many different ways to collect the uh, Neil Gaiman's Sandman series. Uh, previously, I owned the 10 paperback editions. Uh, there were 10 new editions of the paperbacks, there's 10 hardcovers, there's the absolute editions, uh, there's the annotated versions, um, and then there are the collections that I have. Uh, I used to have the paperbacks, and then I traded up for the, uh, the two-volume omnibus set. So, <clears throat> these are without a doubt some of the most attractive looking uh, omnibus that I own. Uh, I would say that next to the Hellboy Library editions, which I talked about in a previous video, these have to be some of the best looking books I have on my shelves. Uh, now, most people already know about what the Sandman is. So usually I don't make these videos to talk about, you know, the, what the comics are about. But uh, for those of you who don't know, The Sandman is Neil Gaiman's 75-issue uh, series, which was kind of uh, one of the first Vertigo titles. It existed uh, alongside Hellblazer, Swamp Thing, Animal Man, Doom Patrol, and other titles. It existed as one of DC's mature readers' books before the Vertigo imprint was started. Uh, so... DC approached Neil Gaiman to produce a new Sandman title. Uh, they hadn't used the character of the Sandman for a while. They had a... Uh, there's the Golden Age Sandman, and then there's Wesley Dodds. Uh, and they hadn't used those characters in a while, and they approached Gaiman saying, we want a new Sandman series. Uh, but there's one catch. Make a new Sandman. The rest is up to you. So he created a new Sandman, in the form of Morpheus, or Dream, of the Endless. The Endless were a group of these uh, siblings uh, who ruled over various realms of consciousness. So you had, like, uh, there's Dream is our main character, Death, Despair, Destruction, uh, and Delight, who turned into... Uh... My head is not thinking right now. Uh, originally, Delight became Delirium, uh, Destiny, I don't know if I covered all seven, but these are the Endless, and they each go over their own realm, and so Morpheus, or Dream, uh, rules over the realm of the Dreaming. Uh, now, the series itself uh, follows Morpheus, and it's, it's a story about stories, which is what you'll hear people commonly say, uh, which is to say that <clears throat> it is a 75-issue comic book story about various other stories and the people who tell them or the people who are involved in them. Uh, now, Dream, uh, he is, this book shows how he is responsible for basically the creation of all stories through time. So we get stories that are told, uh, you know, we get William Shakespeare, we get stuff from, you know, the current period, which was the 90s at the time. Uh, you know, he, he's responsible for everything in the past, present, and future. You get things back to ancient mythology, uh, all kinds of stuff. And this is all within Dream's realm. Uh, now, Dream goes on his own adventures, interacting with the mortals and with uh, the other Endless, interacting with Lucifer himself. Uh, you get all these different characters who exist in the Dreaming, uh, such as the brothers Cain and Abel, straight out of the Bible. You get uh, Matthew the Raven, from uh, who originally was in the Swamp Thing series, died and then came to... Uh, came into the Sandman series. Uh, there's the House of Secrets and House of Mystery exist in there. So all these different things, uh, a lot of them actually expanded into their own titles. There was a House of Mystery book, there's a House of Secrets book, uh, we had the long-running Lucifer title, there was the Dreaming, uh, and a lot of other things. And these are all the adventures, basically, of Dream. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, the series is about his stories and how he's responsible for these things. And we also follow death and how death interacts with people and when she, you know, takes someone with her and all that stuff. Um, 
but it's it's really renowned as one of the greatest comic series of all time. So you could go out there and find a million different reviews, you could see a million different people say a million different things about why The Sandman is one of the greatest comic books of all time. Um, and they're all going to say different things, but you know, it's it really boils down to the fact that that Sandman, Neil Gaiman's series, is unquestionably a piece of art in literary form. And if you are serious about reading and collecting comics, then The Sandman is without a doubt a series that you should at least have read one time. I'm going to say that, you know, Sandman is a series that every comic reader and every comic collector needs to have read one time. I'm not going to say that you have to love it. I'm not going to say that you have to think it's the greatest thing ever. And I'm not going to say that you have to own whatever edition of it. I personally really love the series. I think that it's one of the greatest comics that's ever been written. And I chose to own these omnibus editions because they're beautiful books uh, that I think deserve to look beautiful on your shelf. So now let's talk about the omnibus editions. Both of these have the same trade dress. They both look about exactly the same. They look like a, a nice mahogany tome that you would have uh, if you were some rich person. And, you know, they are pretty expensive. Each of these was $150. Um, so the, the front cover is made to look like that leather or mahogany. The back cover as well. The front cover is embossed. Uh, this is volume one, big Roman numeral one. Volume two has a big Roman numeral two. There's a, there's Dream right here, Neil Gaiman's The Sandman Omnibus. On the spine, uh, it looks like a leather wrapping. It's got this nice uh, tubing on here. You get a uh, Neil Gaiman, The Sandman, Volume 1, Vertigo is all embossed in silver ink. There was another edition of the book published that was uh, silver with black ink on the side. Uh, the pages have uh, black on the edges. The binding, uh, my binding hasn't come apart, but you can see that there's like a little separation of the outer binding, or not the outer, but like the, the ribbon from the glue. It's, I'm not too concerned about that because it's not, um, it's not all the way through. But the binding for something from DC and Vertigo is some of the best that they've produced. Uh, it's there's not a lot of gutter loss in there, which makes this a really nice book. If if you have uh, haven't read the series before, you know this is a really expensive book to be your introduction, but it's a really well put together book. So I would say that if you decide to go with the omnibus, that it is something that's easy to read. It's easy to pull out. It's easy to you know put on the table and, and read through. There's not going to be a lot of gutter loss or difficulty because this is, it's really, really great binding. And that's a really good thing because it's really fantastic that he decided to uh, put so much effort into making sure that the binding on such a renowned book was going to be good. Uh, inside cover, black, black, flyleaf. Uh, and, and you will notice that there's not a, uh, a dust jacket. This book was made without a dust jacket. Um, Sandman, Neil Gaiman, and then there's a plethora of uh, artists that have worked on the series. It started with Sam Keith, who's known for the series The Max. We had Mike uh, Drinden, uh, Dringenberg, who was the inker for the Sam Keith issues and took over as the artist himself. Uh, Malcolm Jones III, Chris Pachalo, Michael Zuli, Kelly Jones, uh, Charles Vess, Colleen Doran, Steve Parkhouse, Sean... McManus, Brian Talbot, Mac, Matt Wagner, Mark Buckingham, Dick Giordano, uh, George Pratt, Pete Craig Russell, and Stan Walk. Uh, of course, the covers are all from Dave McKean through the entire series. The second volume has even more artists in there. Uh, just to run through those. Kent Williams, Duncan... Eagleson, Vince Locke, John Bolton, John Watkiss, Michael Zuli again, Jill Thompson, Kevin Nolan, P. Craig Russell again, Brian Talbot, Mark Buckingham again. Some of these I might say twice and not even realize. Dick Giordano, Michael Allridge, Shea Anton Pensa, Alex Stevens, Gary Amaro, Tony Harris, Steve Lealoa, Mark Hempel, Disraeli, uh, Richard Case, Charles Vess is in there again, Teddy Christensen, John J. Muth, 
or Muff, uh, Dean Ormston, uh, Glenn Dillon, and then Dave McKean does some illustrations in the second volume. So there's a ton of different artists that, that uh, put material in these books. Uh, and just to show off the binding, the second one has just as good of binding uh, as the first one. Actually, it's a little bit tighter, uh, but it, it still doesn't have horrible gutter loss, and it's still a pretty easy book to sit down and read. So, as you hear, there's a ton of fantastic artists that uh, that put material forth into these books, uh, and it all looks amazing on these oversized pages. Now, of course, there are the absolute editions, which are going to look even nicer because they're even huger pages. Uh, but those are like $500 volumes as opposed to two $150 volumes, and of those, I know that some of them are out of print. I don't, I don't know uh, offhand if material from, or if the omnibuses have gone out of print yet, but uh, last time I checked, they were still available to pick up, so you can buy them for uh, well less than $100. It's, it's very easy to find these books for, for less than $100 online if you want to grab them. So there's a bunch of just fantastic looking material in this book, and, and you can see here Martian Manhunter was in there. Originally, uh, the book did tie in a lot to the DC Universe, and you did see uh, Dream and Death appear in various different comics in the DC Universe. The uh, most recent one, uh, it had been a long time since any of the characters from Sandman had appeared outside of uh, Vertigo books, but a couple years ago, or three or four years ago or something, they put Death in an issue of Action Comics back when it starred um, Lex Luthor as the title, or not title, as the lead character. So, he also, we also had Dream appear in an issue of JLA during Grant Morrison's run, but there was, back uh, when the series had first started, there was a lot of appearances of, uh, specifically Dream and Death, in other DC Comics series. So, I'm trying to show off a good deal of the artwork in there, because there's so many different artists, and so much of it just looks fantastic, and the colors are vibrant, the pages are huge, the, the, it just it looks fantastic, and it's, it's a really beautiful uh, set to have on your shelves. So, you know, I've, I've talked about the volumes, the, you know, the, the make of the, the omnibus themselves is fantastic. I, I couldn't complain. I think that they're definitely, in my opinion, the best of what Vertigo has published. Uh, and they're, without a doubt, some of the best uh, looking books that DC has published. And just in all of comicdom, I think that they are some of the most attractive comics. And if you want to have a collection that just looks fantastic on the shelves, then you should really add these to your shelves. They're not, you know, they're, they're expensive, but they're not, you know, going to kill you with their price. It's not like, you know, tracking down $500 books or trying to buy the, one of Marvel's uh, $500 box sets. Uh, $150 discounted online, it's, it's pretty affordable. Uh, without a doubt, one of the greatest comic series that it has ever been published. Um, and these books really do the series justice. I, I have to say that I was not uh, disappointed when I grabbed these books, and I haven't gotten to yet, but I really do plan on rereading the series at some point, uh, just to take it in in this format. Uh, if, if you've read it, and you've read it in uh, the paperback, you know that it's a fantastic series with so much good art, but uh, I, I think that it's one of those series that really lends itself to being looked at in a better, more archival manner, because that artwork by so many masterful artists uh, just needs to be seen on larger pages, needs to be seen with those more vibrant inks. Um, so anyway, I hope that, that you guys enjoy this. Um, I was asked to do this uh, by a lot of people. I was asked to talk about Sandman. Uh, so... I'm hoping that this is satisfactory. I'm, I'm hoping that uh, that this video, that, that my presentation of the Sandman Omnibus volumes is gonna, you know, satiate that hunger that y'all have had. Um, so I, I hope that this was good. 
if you liked it, you know, let me know if, if you enjoyed the video. It, it means a lot to me. Uh, just, you know, comment down below, press the like button. Make sure to subscribe to my channel uh, if this is your first time watching one of my videos. Subscribe and check out my other videos. I'm going to be doing more of these. Uh, I know that it was about a month and a half since my last Omnibus of the Week. I think the last one I did was uh, right before Halloween. Um, and I've, I've been a little busy. I, I don't want to make excuses, but... I moved and I've had a lot going on and, you know, getting ready for the holidays and, and big changes to the site and stuff. I just haven't sat down and done anything. I really wanted to make sure that I prepared for this video because uh, there's a lot of pressure that I put on myself to make sure that the Sandman video uh, was really well, uh, really well said. I just wanted to make sure that I, I talked about the series well enough. And honestly, I don't think that, that anyone could really articulate well enough uh, to talk about how good that Sandman is as a series. Um, so I did my best. But, uh, you know, thanks for watching it. Thanks for watching the video, and if you enjoyed it, I'm really happy. Uh, make sure to check out my site. Uh, right now I'm at www.theomnibuscollector.tumblr.com. Uh, over there I talk about all kinds of, you know, different books. I talk about the new releases that are coming out. I talk about what I want to see come out. I answer questions about things. So make sure to, to visit that and check out what I'm saying over there. Uh, for the new year, I'm going to be doing a lot of new stuff. I'm going to be starting a new segment that I talked about in a previous video, uh, my X-Men readathon, starting from issue number one of X-Men and running through every X-Men comic ever. Uh, and I'm going to be talking about those issues that I read every week. Uh, and then I'm going to be making sure that I, I stay consistent making an omnibus of the week video every week. If not that, then every two weeks. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do better with this. Um, at least until I run out of books to talk about, and then I'll start talking about paperbacks because I'll just run out of material to talk about. Um, and we got big news coming as far as a new site. Um, I'm moving somewhere uh, online to a better place. There's a huge opportunity, and I'm excited to share it with you. Uh, but I'm waiting for something else to happen first, and then once that stuff finishes, then I can move over and start my new stuff, and it's going to be really awesome. Um, I think that's it. I think I've touched up on all bases. Um, as always, I do have, uh, I do accept donations through PayPal, so if you like what I do, uh, if you appreciate the videos, I always appreciate a donation. Every penny counts. Um, you know, I, I'm trying to get a better camera so I can make these uh, videos look nicer. Um, I was trying to to put an image on my TV of uh, of Sandman to have like a backdrop, uh, but without a high quality camera, it just looked like a fuzzy white glowing light. So it didn't really work out for me, um, unfortunately. So you know, donations would really help out because I can put those towards getting a you know HD camera, um, and I can put those towards allowing myself more time uh, to work on this stuff. So I think that's it. I think I've talked about everything. I've talked for long enough. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I did Sandman justice with this video. Uh, stay tuned for my next Omnibus of the Week, and stay 